on behalf of my Aunt Helen Chavez, the Chavez family, thank you for the privilege of sharing with you today on this great occasion. My Theo, my Uncle Caesar, never made it past the eighth grade. He never went to high school because as a migrant farm worker, following the cross, he had to quit school to help support his family. But my Theo was incredibly well read. He read everything. He was a lifelong learner, as I hope all of you will be. You are fortunate with the opening of the State of the Art campus, where you can further your studies and pursue what you care about in your community and beyond. The expression, si se puede, yes we can, reminds us that our actions can bring hope and positive change to our communities. It reminds us that courage isn't doing what comes easy. It is doing what comes hard. In the beginning, the union was a family affair. My uncle Caesar recruited my father, Richard Chavez, into the movement. On weekends, my brothers and sisters and I would join our Theo Caesar and cousins leafing in small farm worker towns, such as Ceres. But through it all, my Theo learned and taught others how to Commitment and sacrifice can set you free from solely depending on money and material things. Maybe lots of the students at this campus are considering going to college. Maybe you are the first in your family who would, do, who would do so. I was one of the first in mine. What I learned from my Theo and my father is to go out into the world and care for others. For me, it was caring for young people. I studied early childhood education, and I realized I could help children succeed in school. Today, I run two preschools in Sacramento. I didn't go out and organize farm workers like my Theo and my father did, but I applied what I learned from them throughout my life. Despite the hundreds of communities that have named things for my Theo, he was a very humble man who almost never let people name things after him. He would have felt very happy today being honored with the Caesar Chavez Jr. High School. Hi. My Theo Caesar was a big believer in education, but his vision for education went beyond personal ambition and individual desire. He reminded us that we cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about progress and prosperity for our communities. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and needs of others for their sakes and our own. One of the things that we start to learn inside and outside the classroom is how to turn me into we. It's what I teach my young students. That's part of what our education has to be about, transforming ourselves into becoming organized and engaged members of a larger society. As my Theo put it, the end of all education should be surely be service to others. Thank you for letting me share with you today, and thank you again for honoring my Theo Caesar and his vision of education, nonviolence, and self sacrifice. Si se puede, thank you very much. We know you drove a long ways today, and we really appreciate it, so we wanted to present you with.